Hey, I think I'm live. I hope I'm live. Let's see what's up. Welcome to Paranormal Cat Activities uh, chat right now. What's up, guys? Hey, can you see me? Am I here? Are you guys? Are you guys seeing me? <laughs> Hi. Hope you all are well. What's up? <laughs> Um, I'm good. Sorry that I was like a minute or so late. I uh, was trying to set everything up, ran into some technical difficulties. You know, that's how it goes. <laughs> so what's up, guys? How many of you have seen this movie? Hellions. How many of you have seen Hellions? Because I have not seen it, but quite a few of you had said that you've seen it and you enjoyed it. Is that, is that correct? And please no spoilers, because sometimes you guys are just not cool about keeping the spoilers uh, low-key, okay? So, oh, thank you. Yes, I have my glasses on my, on my lamps. It's easy. It's so easy. What's up, guys? Hey! Um, cool. It seems like a lot of you have not seen it, so I'm not the only one who's new to this. And somebody said it's baller. Woo! Yes, because... She was the one that told me to pick this movie. So yay, I'm so excited. Um, so I'm glad you guys can see me and that this is going well. Uh, I got my dolls with me to view the movie. There's Lorelai and there's Ina and I got Mothman. So yeah, we're like, we're all here. We're ready for this movie tonight. It's been so long since we had a Netflix and chills. Maybe not that long. It feels like a long time. Um, so are any of you new to Netflix and chills? Do you know what Netflix and Chills is? Do you have any questions about what Netflix and Chills is? Yes, no, maybe so. Thank you. I'm glad you guys liked Mothman. Um, okay, I think there's a couple first timers it looks like, awesome. Sorry, my chat feed's like a little bit behind from where I am. Um, what Netflix and Chills is, if this is your first time here. Hi, welcome, I'm happy you're here. Um, get your own viewing device. I will be using headphones of mine so that I don't break copyright rules. Um, and get, ooh, there it is, Hellions. We're going to watch on Netflix. So get your own Netflix up, find Hellions, get it ready. And basically what we do is I let you guys know whenever I'm gonna hit play, so you guys can hit play at the same time, which actually I'm glad I said that because we all need to hit play and let it do the little loady circle and then hit pause again. So that way when we actually hit play, it plays, because uh, that would be a bummer. So let's, uh, let's get everything pre-ready. Pre is pre-ready a word? I don't think it is. Pretty sure it's not. Oh, and I don't have headphones plugged in yet, so I hope I pause this fast. Oh, 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 ah, pause, okay. I paused it on the IFC logo. See, it just clicked in, okay? So that's where we're gonna start from. So, what we're gonna do is at midnight, so in 10 minutes, we're gonna hit play on uh, the Hellions movie on our own personal Netflixes. Netflix, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, and then we're going to be talking via chat about the movie. So uh, if you're here and you don't have a Netflix account or you just don't feel like watching the movie, you're gonna find out everything that happens in this movie because it's just me talking about a movie. <laughs> so uh, spoilers are gonna happen and it might be kind of boring if you aren't watching along with us. But if you are, it's kind of like we're having a movie date. So that's essentially what Netflix and Chills is. So I hope that you guys are excited for it. I am. And I'm glad you guys enjoyed this idea. Uh, it was Alex's idea, so you guys can thank him. He thought it was a good idea. And I think it's fun too. I've had a blast with this so far. Um, but yeah, if you are used to Netflix and chills and you're in the live chat, um, would you please, if new people come into the chat like halfway through or part of the way through, um, help me keep them filled in. And as we go along, I'm also going to be letting them know how many minutes are left in the movie because my player will have like time remaining instead of how far into the movie we are. So I will be letting them know periodically what the, the timestamp is, but if you guys can help me do that, that would be fantastic because it's hard to keep up with uh, all of the chat all the time while I'm distracted watching movies. It's hard enough to keep up with the chat while I'm talking to myself and you guys at the same time. 
yeah, you know how it is. I've had a little bit too much caffeine today too, which is, uh, it's always a struggle. <laughs> Um, some people were asking what movies I have done with, um, oh, Hellions, yes, with an S on the end. H-E-L-L-I-O-N-S is how it's spelled. Uh, I don't remember what I was going to say. Started to say something. It's gone. <laughs> um, make sure you have your own movie snacks. Not sponsored because uh, it's just popcorn. But get your own movie snacks if you are into food. And, uh, yeah, I'm so excited. So yeah, um, when I press play, you're you're gonna know it. Uh, somebody just asked if if there's gonna be much of a delay. Like I said, the chat is slightly behind the video for me, but what you're hearing is at the correct time. So whenever I hit play, that's when we're going. Just the chat is slightly behind that, um, and then you'll be able to always like watch this at a later time too. So if you're tuning into this and uh, you're not here for it live. Hi, what's up? I wish I could talk to you in chat, but I can't. But I hope you like hanging out with us and watching the movie because, you know, hopefully it's still fun afterwards. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I was saying thank you. Thank you. Uh, what movies have I done on Netflix and Chills before? Um, Hush was the very first one, and it was freaking awesome. If you guys have not watched Hush yet, you need to because it's great. Um, we did Would You Rather which was fun, but full of freaking spoilers. Like, everybody was just just dropping the bomb on what happened in that movie, so that was kind of a bummer. Um, what else have we done? We've done, this is the fifth one. <sighs> Help me remember. I have it on my playlist. I just don't want to have to pull it up. Um, but there were, there were good ones, really good ones. Um, but I'm excited for this one. Hush is still, I think, my favorite one. That's why it sticks out in my head so much, because it was fantastic. Um, I'm hoping this one's good. Uh, somebody had re recommended this one in my Facebook group, and I went, Honeymoon, thank you. Honeymoon was one of them. Yep, it wasn't super great. Um, <laughs> but somebody had recommended this one in the Facebook group, and so I looked up the trailer and instantly was like, this seems like so much fun. So this should be it. Um, so yeah, if we are watching a movie that is a horror movie, it should go without saying that most horror movies are rated R. There's going to be adult themes in the movie. So if you're watching along at home, you're probably going to see some rated R stuff. Um, and I'll probably be talking about some, some things that are rather risque. It could happen. I don't know what's in this movie. <laughs> so uh, somebody asked if I've seen The Void. I have not. I've not heard of it. Um, is it good? Should I watch it? I've had a lot of people recommend that I watch movies that I've seen before. And with these, I try to do movies that are somewhat new so that more people can see it for the first time and um, movies that I haven't watched before so that I get like a, a genuine reaction to things. So hopefully uh, we can get it. And I am so sorry. A couple people told me that Hellions is not on international Hulu. It might just be on the one that's here in the U.S., or Hulu, Netflix, you know what I mean. It's Netflix and chills. Um, so if you did not get Hellions on your Netflix at home, I'm very sorry. Um, if you're sneaky, you could probably uh, do some Google Foo and find a free copy online to watch. Don't tell anybody. Uh, am I going to see the second Annabelle movie? Probably. I mean, why not? You know what I mean? <laughs> um, ooh, I... The Void and The Thing and Reanimator, that's what this feels like? Is that what you're telling me? Because that's going to be an amazing movie. I, I hope that I read that right. Uh, if not, if you're just talking about those movies, uh, you have great taste in movies. So, ready for some Netflix and chills? We're at four minutes. Four minutes till movie time starts. So, like I said, please help me keep new people in the chat informed as to what we're doing and where we're at if I miss it. Um, but yeah, I'm so pumped. I'm excited that you guys like uh, like watching horror movies with me. Because to be real, I never watch movies. Like, I very rarely have downtime to, like, watch movies or TV. So whenever I do, I'm like, I want to save it up for Netflix and chills. Like, my, my watch list is stupid populated. I actually have a movie saved that I wanted to ask you guys about. It's called The Resort. And I want to say that Resort has a Z in it. Uh... But it's basically Jurassic Park with zombies. Have any of you seen this? Because I almost picked it for tonight, but I didn't know if it would be good enough. So let me know if you've seen that. 
Uh, somebody's asking me if I've seen Drag Me to Hell. Yes. But I have terrible memory when it comes to horror movies. I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm like 100% sure I've seen it. I'm just not placing all of it. Uh, somebody's asking me if I've seen Blair Witch Project. Yes, all of them. Uh, I love them, even though some of them are kind of, kind of, you know, kind of lame. Uh, somebody asked if I've seen the trailer to Stranger Things 2. Yes, I actually linked that. I think it was the most recent mystery link in my uh, description of my last video that was public. World War Z, have not seen that. Um, my favorite horror movie? That's such a loaded question, guys. I don't think I can pick one. Like, when it comes, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I just recently watched Trick or Treat for the first time ever. Uh, all of my friends had seen it and told me it was amazing, and I'd never watched it. And when I did, it blew my mind how great it was because it reminds me of like fun, campy 80s and like early 90s horror movies, but with like modern day gore and theme and language. And I thought it was just brilliant. So if you haven't seen Trick or Treat, it's wonderful. Oh my God, it was so good. Um, so yeah, it's almost showtime, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open my popcorn noisily so that way it's uh, ready for whenever the show starts. Ugh, maybe. Have I seen the new uh, Friend Dahmer trailer? No. I haven't watched the trailer, but I heard about it and I'm pumped. Sorry. <laughs> That's probably really gross to some people that I'm just like biting open my food like a monster. <laughs> Um, ooh, some people got free, uh, trials to watch horror movies. That's always exciting. And I'm glad that other people like Trick or Treat. Somebody's got their voodoo chips, and somebody sent me a picture of their voodoo chips recently. I need to try them, because you can't get them in Indiana, and, uh, I need to, I need to get that going. So everybody, we are one minute till showtime, people. Get my headphones up in this, make sure... This is the screen you are on. I hit play, I hit pause uh, seconds afterwards, not as quickly as I probably could. Uh, the C had just clicked into place, so it's kind of blurry. That's where we're starting, okay? Um, this is the headphone part. What's up? All right. And uh, we are getting ready to start. You guys ready? Are you pumped? Super pumped. I hope my volume isn't like super crazy high on this laptop because this is going to suck if that's the case. <laughs> okay, let me, let me check my volume first so I don't die. Oh no. Volume. It was loud. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's back it up a little bit more so I'm not screaming at you guys too loud. I'm using different headphones too. I'm gonna have to leave one of these out. Like I feel like I'm just like half unable to hear, so I'm just like way too loud. Okay, you guys ready? It's midnight, it's showtime. Got the IFC logo on Hellions. We're gonna hit play in three, two, one, click. Hey, it says IFC midnight, it's midnight. That's kinda cool. Sorry, I'm very easily amused sometimes. Full screen this. Are you guys pumped? I hope most of you are actually watching the movie, so it's not, like, super weird. <laughs> Storyteller Pictures, I've never heard of you. Please don't disappoint me. Okay. I can hear something. It's quiet. Maybe I should add subtitles on. I don't know what I'm supposed to be hearing. It's quiet. Fire, maybe? Now we got like a war, 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 war thing going on. Ooh, what's gonna happen? All I see is names. Like, I want a movie to just like put me in there and go. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're still looking at names. This is thrilling, guys. <laughs> All right, interior, hospital. Oh, and I do have subtitles on, sweet. That will help me because of my uh, easily distractedness. All right, got some Walking Dead vibes. But uh, you can hear people being paged in the hospital. So, oh, yep, she's not alone. So that's good. No zombies. Oh, 
Although she's just like in the hallway. And I know those robes don't have backs. And nobody's really caring when they're walking behind her. So that's not very realistic. I kind of like the soundtrack right now. It's doing something kind of funky. I like it. I don't know what she's looking at, though. Oh, as, as the movie so well put it, eerie music. <laughs> I am a fan of eerie music. So we're just uh, going with a slow intro. Got like a heartbeat kind of thing going on in the background. What's going to happen? What's she looking at? Baby? Is it a baby? It's something behind glass. And you never know. Great. <laughs> so now we got, um, like, punky romance kids. I'm going to call them punky romance kids. Hanging out. <laughs> And I gotta agree, that chick's makeup was pretty great for being in a hospital. <laughs> so, hanging out, talking about costumes. I don't know what I'm gonna be for Halloween, speaking of. You always know, kind of like in horror movies, whenever there's a couple being like overtly sexy, they're probably both gonna croak. <laughs> so, uh, that's, that's already going to be my guess for this, is they're probably going to bite it pretty early. What minute mark right now? Oh, hey. Hi, there we go. I have one hour, 18 minutes, 14 seconds left. And we are in the movie Hellions, in case you didn't see from the title of the movie and you just joined us. What's up? And no, I don't ever know what I'm going to be for Halloween. <laughs> I'm really bad about that. Maybe this movie will give me some ideas, though. I had ideas for cosplays, so I was going to go to Gen Con, and uh, they totally sold out, like, for almost all the days, so I'm pretty sure I'm not going. So that costume's uh, a bust already. Whoa! Roadkill poked with a stick. Sweet. Always necessary. <laughs> Although it did look really fake, so uh, it wasn't too gross. They're just, you know, poking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig into this, you know, why not? <laughs> okay. Kids are getting in trouble. They were egging a house. I've always wondered, like, who actually eggs houses? Isn't that something that people did in, like, the 50s? Like, I've never heard of anybody actually egging a house. Hey, that's that one dude. That guy's in, like, everything. Although now that I say it, I can't place it. Granted, he's, like, real old. Is that the guy from Terminator who was, like, the first Terminator? Let me know. So this girl's sister is a bee with like the weirdest head wrap thing. Did she have dental surgery? What happened? And uh, apparently this chick's not in a costume. But I'm sorry, who is gonna wear a clear but at the same time leopard print rain jacket on a daily basis? <laughs> Is it the T-1000? Oh my god. I'm, I'm so excited right now that I, play, I placed him. Alright, I was chewing during that, but I'm pretty sure she's pregnant. So, that makes sense with the intro. So she's talking to somebody about uh, baby stuff. So is this the same chick from the hospital? Cause she looks super different with uh, this level of makeup. But I'm pretty sure it is. 
How is she supposed to take her doctor seriously when he's in a costume? That's a little bit weird. And you can really tell, like, this movie was probably made, like, five, six years ago when those, like, clip-in colorful hair extensions were popular. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, nobody's wearing that no more. <laughs> I kind of want some of these enormous elf ears that this guy is rocking. <laughs> so, yeah, now she's got uh, baby thoughts in her brain. And baby thoughts on this on this uh, statuette, <laughs> this figurine diagram. I don't know the the model of a baby. Ew. So I'm looking at a statue of a pig having a period. I don't understand what that means. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's probably hallucinating. It's okay. The eggs interrupted it because that was a little weird. A wooden pig at that, like. Is she wearing like a leather apron? There is no way somebody wears this. Like, <laughs> I'm all for extreme fashion choices, but um, this is a lot of them at once for it to be a daily look. That's, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> and this doctor's office is like super classy, uh, which makes it seem really fake because uh, whose doctor's office is in like a super nice house? Not mine. No. So, uh, now she's just roaming, hanging out. Let's check. Time left. One hour, 13 minutes, and 16 seconds. And now we have the title of the movie. It's kind of a slow intro. I'm hoping things pick up. Maybe it's like a Omen or Rosemary's Baby thing going on, and she's giving birth to evil. Is that what's up? Don't tell me if it is. I don't want to know. <laughs> so she's just strolling through the woods, hanging out. Wait, is she tripping? Is she in two dimensions at once? Is that what's up? This has multidimensional stuff, doesn't it? Because right now she's in the woods and hearing the intercom from the hospital. She's in two places at once. I hope. Because it didn't flash over like it was an overlapped uh, scene. That'd be dope. I hope that's why I'm, ugh. Sorry, there was a fly, I got scared. <laughs> yes, she's sitting on a house now. But you wrote that before I got to it. So, uh, maybe step it back a bit. <laughs> How come kids in movies always get these cool houses where they can, like, hang out on the roof? Maybe I just didn't have a cool house. <laughs> so she's, uh, listening to sad music. Doesn't seem too happy about the news, uh, still. So... <laughs> That's a weird cell phone ring. It was like a train, like, bell. Okay. Now she's taking a bath, I assume. Come on, movie. I wanna see some crazy stuff. Or feet, you know, I guess that's fine too. <laughs> Sorry, it's creepy that her bathtub has wood around the edge. I've never been in a bathtub that has wood on it. Seems like it'd feel gross. So, uh, it's bath time. What's gonna happen? It's either, it's either gonna be something sexy or something scary. There's like two options here. She's hearing whispering. 
And I can't tell if this is a hallucination or if this is actually happening. But uh, if it's really happening, she might need to see a, a doctor. <laughs> uh, so far, the movies, eh, I kept thinking Freddy Krueger hand too. Now, if we had some Freddy Krueger hand action happening. So is this actually happening? Nope. Hallucination. Hallucination that she had, like, a monster baby pop out, basically. <laughs> so, yeah. Definitely more uh, scary than sexy, I would say. And so now you see she has her family, which is her brother, a samurai. I like their pumpkin. They have the jack later that looks like it's eating the other pumpkin. I've always wanted to do that. But again, it's just like my Halloween costumes. Like I never know what I'm gonna do until I do it. And then it's like, yeah. Okay, this was the still that uh, Netflix picked as one of the ones that was on the slideshow. Ooh, hi, who is this? You guys know I'm like a sucker for scarecrows, man. Like. That was a weird phrase. She just asked her, like, sister or daughter uh, if she wanted to carve a pumpkin with her tongue. I, maybe I missed half of this. But the scarecrow dude out in the street was awesome. So this girl's like, I'm just boring. I'm going to stay at home. Right now, minute-wise, we have one hour, eight minutes, two seconds. Okay, it is her daughter. I don't know why she's not like, hey, mom, guess what? Because it's probably like an opportune time to drop that bomb. It just, it kind of cracks me up that, like, the mom-daughter relationship's, like, so unrealistic. <laughs> they just do not care about each other at all. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm glad you guys feel like you're out of sleepover. Because this is what I would be doing if you were here, like, present with me. All right. So, Samurai Dude's practicing his uh, skills. Was the mom dressed up? What was she wearing? I can't tell what the mom's supposed to be. She looks like she tried. But it doesn't look great. Okay. She tried to tell her mom here. Oh, ooh, mom. <laughs> you need a different costume. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was awesome. She has like the worst jester kind of clown weirdness going on. Man. And she still didn't get the news about uh, about the uh, daughter's pregos. She's already having food cravings because she's eating some nasty guys. Is this chick actually going to eat this? I kind of want to see this actress eat this. For those of you who may not know, it's a pickle covered in honey and salt. <laughs> she's eating it. But the one on the fork has no uh, honey on it, so. Is she going to a party? I think she might be thinking about going to this party, guys.
Um, or just staring at herself holding a dress? No, she's going to a party. Is she an angel? Yes. Outfit is an angel. And she's practicing the, uh, I'm going to have your baby speech. <laughs> Okay, so what's up? <laughs> because this is just her talking to herself about got a baby in there. Her wings are like really high quality. Yes, little Jack Leader Scarecrow boy. This kid is so cute. Especially after uh, I was just talking about trick or treat. He looks like little Sam a little bit. Oh, she even had cheap candy. The worst. Is this kid having an asthma attack? What's up? <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty good conversation closer from her right then. I like this cute little weird kid with the sack head. I'm a fan of him already. Ooh, the kid from the orphanage, yes. Also reminds me of that kid, which I like that movie a lot, it was really good. Still doing the honey pickles. This sounds like the worst thing ever to me. And I normally can eat weird food. Some about that's not vibing. Mm -mm. Ooh, okay, so she's watching horror movies. Uh, dude hasn't picked her up yet. What time is it? Is he late? Did she get stood up? Her dress is like kind of fabulous for her just pulling it out of a closet. And you can hear on the, uh, the TV, they're giving you some information about the town. Pumpkin carving contest, which might make sense why all other pumpkins looked awesome. Like, did you see the one on the porch with the fangs? It was awesome. Oh, I like her phone case. Her phone case looks like a tape set. We have one hour, two minutes, 21 seconds. And uh, her dude's not picking her up. She just left a voicemail like, where are you at? And now she's looking at his face like, ah, why is he not here? All right, we got trick-or-treaters. Is that kid back? Okay, these are persistent. These are persistent trick-or-treaters. Oh no, if there's no more candy, you turn off your lights. You are not that kind of house. Come on. Ooh, sack kid has a has a buckethead friend. Wait, hold on. Sackhead's hands are different in this scene than they were the last scene. Cause during the day he had little boy hands, and now he's got little dirty old man hands. <laughs> oh, costume consistency. Ooh! I like his little scary hands. So that kid wants uh, Angel Face to be his mama. That's what we got out of that. Oh! And maybe telekinetically became uh, her baby because she's going through some stuff now. And her her pukes sound lumpy <laughs> if you missed it she just she got touched by a little creeper goes oh my body and then goes and pukes <laughs> but her dress looks cooler now because it has like the touch of death right on it it's pretty sweet it makes me want to dress up as her now with the handprint because that's kind of a cool look i kind of get into that 
Oh, that sink wasn't attached very well. Sorry. <laughs> yes, I was so sad the pumpkins got smashed. So she's calling the doctor. So doctor's gonna make a house call. That moon looks lovely. Very artificial, but very lovely. I enjoy it. Is that a shrunken head pumpkin? I like that. I want to make one of those. So now we're chilling. Let's bring back the sugar traders. I am ready for it, guys. Like, she's just she's just holding her tongue. Like, okay, there we go. Now we got it. Is it the trick or treaters, or is it the doctor, or is it someone else? Is mom home? Is boyfriend there? And his phone died. Or are we never gonna know? It says man screaming in the subtitle. I don't was that audible? Do I need do I need to have both of these? Maybe we'll switch it up for a while. See if I catch anything extra. Oh, she's getting egged. Well, that's not nearly as fun. But for real though, like who eggs houses? I think the answer is nobody. <laughs> so you guys could hear the scream? Hopefully it's this, I don't know. Okay, so mom and bro are gonna be late. Yeah, she just said, I heard someone scream really loudly. Whoops, I missed that. This is why, like, you do not hesitate to call the cops, like, in real life. Like, if somebody was terrorizing my house, I don't care if it's, like, Halloween, I'm calling the cops. Or maybe I'm just, like, an old lady neighbor. Like, I had, I think it was year before last, somebody rang my doorbell right at midnight on April Fool's Day, and it was just me and the dog, and I was in bed, and I woke up freaked out, and I just called the cops. It was like, somebody ding-dong ditched me, and uh, I'm not gonna open my door, so please check what happened. What? What? Trick-or-treaters are back with a decapitated head. Is that her boyfriend? Wait, hold on. It looked like a lady. Did I miss that? No, that's the boyfriend. Yes. Wait, why would you? Okay. <laughs> so she was just going to fall on the ground and be like, come get me. I'm next. But she shut the door. <laughs> okay, now she wised up and called the cops, right? Like, they'll just, they'll, they could cruise by and find that head and then, uh, you know, make sure everything's okay. <laughs> yeah, girl, you do need to calm down. You can't really understand what you're saying. Her saying, she's saying. Wait, she just said that her boyfriend was dead and the lady was like, oh, that's good, calm down. That's good. <laughs> that third uh, child that was with the group this time had like the coolest look. Well, maybe not as cool as the first guy, but pretty cool. All right, we got lights out. Wait, there's a glow outside? Is this real? Hold up, what's happening right now? What am I watching? Where is this like wind and heavenly illumination coming from? What are these guys? Dude, this is so cool. Right now we're at 55 minutes, 18 seconds left. 
Is she like going to Oz? What's happening right now? This is so cool. I don't understand why there's wind indoors, but I really enjoy this. Yes. Buckethead, bring it on. Dude, I, I am so into this movie. This is pretty cool. Okay, we know it's not a joke. Okay, she got disconnected. Now we get the good stuff. The only thing that could be better is the acting. Like, it'd make it so much better because this concept is so cool. So she's going through this windy house. This is so neat. Like, this is just such an original visual. I am so into this. Oh, it just looks so awesome. Okay. Okay. We're getting freeze frames. Things seem to have chilled. Did she get teleported to another place? Like, are we in Oz, but like all Wicked Witch of the West stuff? And they're like the munchkins, but of the dark realm. Like, <laughs> it's so cool. Oh my God. I'm kind of super into this movie right now only because it's the movie that's in my brain and I have no idea what this is gonna be. Like for real, right? Like there's some serious like Wizard of Oz stuff happening, right? Ooh, are they in the house? Are they talking to you? Hold up. I wanna make sure I don't miss any like screams. Okay. I'm just gonna talk really, really loud through this. I'm sorry, I don't wanna miss any of these weird dialogue lines. Okay, this, this, whatever this is, has a voice like a toy. Which I know is supposed to be creepy, but it's just kind of weird to me. I wanted to open that door and be in a whole other place. Or a whole other time. Okay, it is a doll. She's looking at it like that makes it okay. Oh, Doc! Doc Big Ears is here. Okay. They're everywhere. Wait, hold on. So he came with them? Did the whole world go wherever this is? Where, where, where are the little ones? Dude, I'm into this. This movie's fun. Okay, Angel Face, let's hurry up and get the door. I want to see what Dr. Big Ears has to say and how dead he is, because he didn't look like he was doing well. We have 51 minutes, 11 seconds left. It's a lot of time for a lot of fun stuff to happen. Wait, and his name's Dr. Henry? Wasn't Dorothy's uncle, Uncle Henry? Wasn't Uncle Henry and Aunt Em? Oh yeah, they got some correlations here. And I, I totally forgive it because this is pretty sweet. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. What I wouldn't give for Halloween night to look like this. Like this would be so weird. And apparently not all of the pumpkins are smashed because these ones are okay. Unless we're in a time before they got smashed.
Okay. Ooh, little creeper hand. Well, they're speedy little mofos. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get some information from the doc. Like, what, what has happened to him? Oh, her phone's ringing. <laughs> okay, they're everywhere. It's still all we're getting. Ooh, they're breaking windows, guys. So now they hide in the basement? That might not be the safest place, guys. May not be the smartest, but they're barricading themselves. But you can see light, and they just broke windows. So uh, that might not work well if they're everywhere. Maybe. So is the doc with it? Is he like? Is he like mad now? I can't tell if he's like out of it because he's dying. Wait. Okay. Okay. Ooh, yes. Okay. I still only see three. Oh, nope. There's some on the roof. We what's on the roof, guys? Oh, man. All right. So the doc is nuts because he is dying. We have found out. And I'm not sure what she's going to have in a basement that's going to help him. A staple gun? Oh, that's gonna be rough. The doctor approves a staple gun for a giant slash in your body. You heard it here first. Oh my god. You know we're gonna see the staples go into his flesh. It's gotta happen. Wait, what is she doing? I don't know how well he's going to be able to hold this while she's stapling his body shut. Okay, I don't understand what she's doing right now. She's just like... Okay, okay, now she's going to be stapling. Yes! His shrieks are so good! Whoo! Well, at least this guy's a little bit better of an actor than this lady. Okay. They're all up in the house. You can hear them everywhere. They're getting rowdy. And they're grunting a lot. <laughs> what are they doing up there? Now we can see they're fighting. Ooh, I like her. She's cool. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Like, the weird little creepy ones remind me of, like, the Puppet Master movies in a totally different way, but, like, how each one is, like, their own distinct, really weird character. Like, I love that. All right. His neck doesn't look that bad. She, she did a pretty solid job, right? Like... Oh, and duct tape. That pretty much works for everything. Well, except her baby maker, because she's having trouble with that. <laughs> okay. Creepy children. What, what are they doing? What is this guy doing? Okay. 
stuff's about to happen. Okay, Doc, what, give it to me straight, man. She's getting ready to pop. She's got to have that baby in that basement, isn't she? Come on, tell me. Ooh. This is so much fun. So she's four months pregnant now. Okay. So does her baby have Jack disease? <laughs> Jack was born on Halloween in the movie, oh my God. <laughs> this movie connects everything. <laughs> oh my God, this is fantastic, guys. So much fun. So you just got clips of baby veins going on in here. Oh my God. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, they're trying to come in. <laughs> so now she's focused up. She's like, this is an evil baby. Let's take care of this. Let's go. <laughs> okay, where are they climbing out of? They're going in what looks like a laundry chute. And these little critters are awful shrieky, guys. <laughs> oh no, Doc, if she, she, you're not gonna make it. I'm sorry, if you're like, in case I don't make it, you're done so. <laughs> He's gonna get ripped right back out that hole. He's not even gonna make it. Okay, all of the all of the creeplings are down in this basement. Yep. Bye, Doc. He he went bye bye, guys. Well, now he went bye bye. <laughs> Ooh, and the meat cutter got him. Ooh, wait, is that child on the ceiling? There's a kid on the ceiling. Yeah, you don't need a minute to cry. You gotta get to that car, Chica. You gotta go. They're everywhere, as he said. And it does seem that way. This is awesome. I feel like I feel like this movie has so many fun qualities, but at the same time, like, I think I could do it way better. <laughs> like, I love some of the concepts in this though, and the callbacks and stuff. All right. Well, what is she even gonna do if she gets the car and goes to the clinic now? The doctor's dead. If she tries to do some tomfoolery, she's going to end up dead. <laughs> um, this might be a lose-lose situation for her. Oh, okay. Ceiling child. Is, um, feral, maybe? And I'm I'm totally digging the fact she kicked her. I kind of want to see more uh, more fighting here than just dodging. That was pretty awesome. What's her little hands? She's like, ooh. What'd she get hit with? I would assume water. She's melting. Did she actually get hit with water and she's melting? Did that actually just happen? Or is she burning because her skin's burning? I don't know what I missed, uh, but it seems like more Wizard of Oz stuff. Here is salt, salt. Thank you, salt. It kind of sounded like they were playing Silent Night for a second. That was a little bit weird. Okay, she's running. Now we know Salt defeats these, right? 
Thank you. Somebody else heard Silent Night. Thank you. Okay. Now I'm hearing creepy sounds in my own house. Thanks. Okay. What the F am I hearing? Do you guys hear that like popping sound? Maybe it's, maybe it's that. I don't know. Creeping myself out over here, guys. What? What is this dream sequence? This is amazing. What? What is this right now? Where? What is happening? Little piggy, pig period on the desk earlier. Is she the mom of all of them? Did they need a mom and they picked her? We wait for baby. Oh. They want to steal her baby. Ooh. So they want to murder her for the baby. This is weird and I like it. Ooh, I like the one little, like, uh, oh, what am I thinking of? Nutcracker outfit. The one had like a nutcracker outfit. Okay, she's just like chilling in a shed right now. But that like hallucination dream sequence thing was so cool. Oh, blood for baby is happening, whether they do it or not. Oh my God. Homegirl, you're gonna die. <laughs> this is bad. Okay, this has to be a dream sequence now. Okay, cool. Okay, this escalated quickly. I wanted some action in this movie, though, so I cannot be upset. Whoa. Terminator to the rescue, man. So help me if there are, like, if there are call next to Terminator next, I will die. <laughs> All right, this girl's really not great at acting. Like, I need to see. I need to see some quality stuff go down. But you know, him being a sweet guy just now is probably going to end bad for him. Dr. Henry's still alive, guys. Or is he? Do they have the ability to mimic voices? So it's a real question, you know? Dude, this is so much fun. So the little shed she was in, it looks like an outhouse with two doors. There's like no privacy to that. <laughs> I'm still kind of like all about the fact that they filmed the night stuff during the day and made it look this cool. Like it makes me really happy. Yes, Dr. Hobbit, his voice was heard. But was it him? That is the question. And mom's still not home, and neither is bro. Ooh, is there gonna be like a twist since they were like the least suspecting characters that like they somehow like set her up or sacrificed her unborn baby thing? I don't know, long shot. Okay, they hear the doc. But he's, he's playing it up that he's solo. Ew! This is effed up! 
We have 34 minutes, 58 seconds left. Oh my God, that was great. Um, if, I mean, pretty sure this is the doctor's body. He is headless. So the voice was not from him. All right. That was awesome though. And she didn't want to look at his empty neck hole, so she threw a, a jacket over it. <laughs> it was probably more of a respect thing. It just was kind of like, a, Ew, this is gross. <laughs> What's the little doll thing waving? Maybe it's from a clock, because it's like TikToking. It doesn't look like a metronome, that's for sure. Ooh. What does this cop know? <gasps> cop, what do you know? What does this have to do with it? Does he know like the ancient history of this town? Yes, he does. He says there's not much time, guys. <gasps> yes. I love this. Oh my God, this is fantastic. So they got his wife once, and that's how he knows about him. Oh my God, this is too much fun. Did they paint runes on the wall? Looks like it. So. Reliving the moment, waiting to see his wife's body, most likely. Wait, wait. The voice. No. Oh my God. They're doing creepy voice mimic crap again. Okay, you just gave the chick who's having very vivid hallucinations a gun. Is this gonna pan out bad? There's a, <laughs> there's, there's a possibility. For anybody who's not watching this movie, you're probably so effing lost because it's going, it went so slow at the beginning and now it's so boom, boom, boom that like I can't, I can't narrate. Like, dude. They're, they're basically hunting for these creepers, I hope. I mean, unless they're all magically gone, which could happen. Could be. <laughs> oh my God. Music's picking up. Something's gonna go down. Come on. Are they in the attic? I always like to like addicts in movies like that. Why is he just shooting up in the hole? Did he really end up dead already? What? Did they steal the car? Are they in the car? Oh, the car is on fire. Oh my God. We're not getting out now, guys. <laughs> Okay, okay. He's up in the attic, chandelier's moving. They're gonna ambush you, dude! He's getting something in the back of the head. It's gonna happen. I better put a lid on this. I don't wanna spill it on my laptop right now. <laughs> oh, wait! Yep, something just ran by. Either that or my hair did it. But there's a nutcracker, I told you guys! That they made a guy look like the Nutcracker. Oh. Somebody's getting like a beat going on with this siren. Oh. Is that Buckethead? Oh yeah. 
You can't shoot bug at him? <gasps> oh! Oh, Copper just met his demise, guys! Look at them all! Dude, this is so awesome! The good parts of this are so freaking solid! Like, oh, it makes me so happy! They're all like creepy choir chanting on this. Oh my God, it's great. Dude. I'm into this. Okay. Does she have more bullets for the shotgun? Because I don't know why she's carrying it around if she doesn't. Because these guys clearly cannot be shot. Okay, wait. Okay. She has to have found one that was good. But I really don't know what her defense is. Salt totally works better than the gun. Like, you're in the bathroom. She took a bath with salts earlier in the movie. And that's going to come back. Little bro! Are you actually a little bro? No, cause you're not a little bro. See, cause the voices did the thing. Can't stop what's coming? Whoa! These things are manipulative. They really want this baby, guys. Whoa. She got real pregnant real fast. For real, this is like other timeline, Jack. <laughs> this would be like the worst day for this girl. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. You can see the uh, the fetus a little more, and it does look like the monster that was in the bathtub hallucination. Okay, there's knocking. Oh, oh, what are they doing outside the window? I'm waiting on them to like scoop her up. Just whoop. You know, just a hunch. Maybe don't answer the knock at the door. What is she hearing right now? On the bright side, she looks super pretty in this scene. So that makes me uh, less annoyed with her. Wait, what is up? go. Now she's doing something smart. She's filling up the shotgun shells with salt. Much smarter. Much better. <laughs> oh, man. For real, like, somebody said, like, they love how artsy this movie is. The moments that are really well done are really well done. And, like, the concept is so original. Hey, little, hey, little creeper. She's gonna blow your sack head off. 
and your little creepy grandpa hands. You are not a little kid anymore. And you sound like a dragon? Apparently, throw them in a salty bath and uh, they scream like dragons. Take his sack head off and see what his face looks like. Dude. She's waiting to shoot. Ooh, doll face. They're kind of cute. Dang, was she on the second story? That's pretty hardcore. We got 24 minutes and four seconds left. This last half hour has like blown by, guys. Like, that's crazy to me. I'm so glad, like, I ask and you do receive. I wanted it to pick up, and man. Oh, oh, see? Other dimensional crap, guys. They're there, but they're not. Was the hospital that she had delivered in in the beginning like a mental institution? Like, did this make her go crazy? Okay. I just saw mouse ears in the sheets. You need to get out of the sheets. Didn't they do this in like something like Texas Streets on Massacre? You don't go through the sheets. Especially backwards. Yep, there's mouse ears again. Guys. Okay. I think she's now at the state of pure confusion, which I would definitely agree with. <laughs> oh, running, running people. You only have so much ammo. Don't just spin and shoot. You find what you need to shoot. Ooh, like that one. Well done. Ooh, mouse ears looking creepy. Was Mike Terminator? I'm pretty sure he was. Ooh. Oh, she's getting wrapped up, guys. Oh. Oh, they're gonna take her. Ooh. I like her creepy face in that sheet right now. That's good. Okay. I mean, it's going real abstract. I'm just waiting to see if she's still here or if she's like gonna wake up in the hospital. Is she going back in time? She might be going back in time right now. Well, I mean, there's the line from the beginning of the movie. So did she go back in time? What happened? Now she's in the hospital again, but you can hear, hmm. This is like some Arrival stuff. Did you guys watch the Arrival? It was so good. This is like the horror version of that in some ways with like how she works it. This is so weird and cool. We only have 20 minutes and 22 seconds left. I'm going to need some more. Because right now it's just very abstract, which I don't mind. I'm into that. But dang it, I want some answers too!
Is she going to find out why they know her name? And why they're after her? All right, we got fog coming out of log. Looks pretty cool. What's it mean? I mean, she's back in that hallucination. Is she going to learn more? The way this person's walking next to her and, like, the mask reminds me of some, like, weird creature. Like a mammoth. I don't know why. Like, just some kind of, like, giant scary creature. And they had all these cute llamas this whole time and I never knew. Why did they hide that from me? Oh, no. Some of these little ones have weapons. Are they going to sacrifice one? No, they're going to sacrifice her. We're back to this part. Oh man, she's not going anywhere this time. It's going down. Guys, oh my goodness. This is getting dark. Do it. Terminator saving the day. Maybe. I mean, he's doing some work at least. Wait. Is this ultimate timeline stuff? Yeah, it has to be. So is he there or not? Oh my God. The baby's gonna be so full grown, it's just gonna walk out. Let's think of it as like some, some speedy progression. All right, pumpkin patch birth, it did not happen. Uh, in this timeline. I, I don't know what's happening right now. It's amazing though. Yes. Well, she's, she's not running too well, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh no. What is it? Oh my God, this is so cool. Oh my God. So Mike's found the entrance to his old house in the middle of the freaking woods. This is the coolest. Oh God. So wait, maybe, maybe he made some kind of pact to switch the baby offering to her instead of his wife and he gets her back. Could happen, guys. I don't know. She's got all these handprints on her dirty tummy. Okay, it's giving me subtitles I can't hear. I gotta go back to screen talking. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Are they gonna walk through a doorway and be in a church next? He's got a baby now, guys. That baby is really cute. So did he switch? Like what happened? Oh my God, he's so good. Wait, no, don't, why would he be giving the baby to her? Is he like just a, is he like one of them? No, there's something else. What's gonna happen? What's, yes! Oh 
my god! It's like Doctor Who Cthulhu baby. Was it the Ood? One of the creatures looked like that. Oh, this is so good! Yeah, she'd be straight tripping, guys. Is she, like, forever stuck here? Well, she's trying to escape. Exploding pumpkins? This is awesome! <laughs> oh, my God! Dude, I knew the trailer made me think this movie would be so much fun, but this movie is so freaking fun. So she's still being chased by the creepers. She's in like, barn cellar basement? Uh, She's a little upset, understandably so. <laughs> well, she doesn't seem as upset now. Is she laughing because she's gone nuts? Possibly. Well, now she's not laughing anymore. Roller coaster of emotion for this girl. <laughs> okay. Music's picking up. We only have 12 minutes, 56 seconds. What's going to happen? She's like an angel, and she's giving birth in a barn. So there's some uh, biblical symbology this time, a little bit, kind of. I mean, she might give birth in the barn. She's, she's moaning. We'll see what happens. Or the baby might just escape her body. Did you see it? It's like stomach pokies. Oh, she's going to just cut it open. Do it. This is wicked, guys. Self C section is freaking hardcore, man. Whoa. Okay. So is she gonna kill it? Yeah. So she uh she's taking care of business and possibly dying. Oh my god, it's so violent! So... Okay, she passed out. I don't- I don't know- I don't know if she took care of both of them. Okay. Can't tell if the lighting is making things look wintry or if it's somehow winter. There's still pumpkins. Okay, we're not in winter. The, ex the like, friggin' master exploder pumpkins. That was really cool. Like, really awesome. Okay, what's out here? Besides tractor parts. Come on, movie, give me more. Oh, 
pile of rock could be where that altar was before. Could not be. Hole. Well, what's in the hole? We went in the hole. The hospital? Okay, maybe we'll get some re resolution. So, we're in the hospital. Mom and bro are there. Man, guys, this movie! So, did she actually hurt herself? So what went down? That seems a little silly. She cried about losing her mom's tiara. Come on now. Okay, yeah. Oh my God! Oh, whoa! Whoa! Man, the dream sequence violence is on point. Whoa! I need her to check herself out. I need to know. Okay, thank you. Show me. She got cut up. She doesn't look like there's a baby in there. Okay, but now she's gonna go walk down the hallway again and go to the room with the glass and then we get to see the baby, right? How it opened, it shall shut, I assume. But will the baby be normal? Will the baby look like that cute baby that she got to, to hold or was forced to hold? <laughs> Walk down the hallway. Moon all the dudes that clearly did not even notice, even though your rope is totally not shut in the back. Okay, it's shut in the back, but as well as a hospital rope can. Okay, rolling by. This intro is slow already. I don't need it again. I want to know what's happening. It's the exact same scene as the opening. It's going to take its time. Oops, good job, popcorn. I know the dude's gonna come out of the door, yep. And the doctor. Show me the baby room. Hopefully we'll get shown it. Or it'll end up like teeth and you wait the whole movie and never get to see it. We're almost there, guys. Show me the baby. Or the empty baby bassinet, whatever. I want to know what it is. You can hear a baby. Looks like a normal baby. Is she, is she certain that's hers? So 
So, so are we good? The music's still kind of scary for her to be good. Oh! Oh, man! Dang it! <laughs> I want to know more! <laughs> so, guys, <laughs> what did you think of the movie? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I know, I'm impatient. I'm sorry. But, yeah, what did you guys think of it? I still loved it. Thoroughly confusing. A lot can be read into. A lot can be interpreted. Um, a lot of it was very symbolic. But it was so good. Like, the parts that were good were great. Like, super great. Um, the parts that were left unanswered, I'm not 100% against, like, the voice. I At the very end, that's not great. But... It was still super fun. Thank you. I'm happy that this was your favorite Netflix and chills. This was so much fun. Oh my God. I, I thought it was a very entertaining movie. The slow parts were slow and the acting was not great. Those were my biggest issues with it. Originality of the story was freaking spectacular and it looked so good. Yeah, like visual and audio design totally agree with you like it was so well done like really really neat oh man it, it really was effed up i agree <laughs> oh man i am so glad that you guys enjoyed it as much as i did because that was awesome that was a good time i'm glad you guys were, were here for movie night so thank you guys so much for watching hellions with me on Netflix. Tonight's episode was brought to you by my Patreon peeps. These three are at a level where they get a shout out, and this one gets a, a verbal shout out. So Jason Riddle, you rule, man. You're awesome. But yeah, these lovely people that are backwards on your video, probably. Maybe? I don't know. Um, they, along with everybody in my description, are the lovely people that were able to make tonight happen. So thank you very much. To all of my Patreon people, and thank you so much to all of you for being here with me, because, man, tonight was fun. Tonight was a lot of fun. And yes, I cannot wait until Halloween either, because uh, now I have so many other costume ideas. <laughs> um, and I totally want to make, like, you know how they have those creepy little, like, two, three foot high things that you find at antique stores that look like a kid going like this with their head in the corner? Do you know what I'm talking about? It's probably like a weird Midwest art folk thing. Um, I want to get like three of those and make them like Buckethead, Sackhead, and Pumpkinhead. Ooh, or doll faces. Ooh, I might need five of them. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just excited about it. Oh, my God. That was so much fun. Like, amazing uh, recommendation on that one. So thank you so much. And uh, if you guys know of any other movies that you recommend that I watch that are on Netflix, uh, leave them in the comments here or get a hold of me on any of my social media and let me know what the next Netflix and Chills movie would be uh, because any suggestions would be awesome. So, yeah. And thank you. I'm glad you guys know what I'm talking about with those weird little kid dolls. <laughs> oh, man. This was a baller movie. I, I had so much fun. I hope my haunted dolls did, too. You probably couldn't watch them very well. I was probably up in their way. But, yeah. Anyway. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out with me and uh, for recommending an awesome movie and watching an awesome movie with me. And if you didn't actually watch it, um, thanks for being confused by an awesome movie and hanging out with me for the last like hour, hour and a half. I had fun, so yeah. Anyway, thank you guys, you rock, I love you. And I'm gonna try and go to bed, but I'm gonna need some wind down time because that movie was awesome. So yeah, all right, I'm out of here. Good night guys.